Look, I'm like swollen. I don't know. I'm eating a cookie. Enjoy. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to podcast number 88. 88. Mm-hmm. Ooh, crazy eights. <clears throat> Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> um, welcome. My name is Dinah. You can find me at The Knitting Place on Instagram, Ravelry, and Facebook. I'm wiping my eyes because I got off a plane and I haven't had a chance to refresh and whatever. You're seeing you me You look rock. pretty good for someone who got Thank off a plane. You. Thank um, you. I didn't get off a plane. That's why you look so I'm pretty. I'm Pam Sapp on Instagram and Ravelry and Pam Sapp Bands on Facebook. If you like the podcast, subscribe. Right. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're It's a pleasure to have you. Yes, and if you're returning, welcome back. We're happy that you made it back. Please give us a follow, subscribe. There are the notifications and all right. those beautiful things right. underneath. Right. Last week, I don't know what happened. I posted the show notes and none of the links worked. Hey, did, you, did you get what I sent you? Did you? Yes. Emily did it. I can't update it on the iPad. I need the laptop. Oh, so you couldn't do it? No. Yeah, well. So, you know, you should try it, though, to see if tonight, it works. And tonight, then we'll find out. Because so when I you think, share it, it's the way you share it. I think it's the way it went from your phone to the computer. So I think I uploaded the show notes to my iPad from my phone, not the laptop. But I could be wrong. Anyway, Whatever. I'm going to update the show notes because this sweater right here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look everybody it was... They love questioning it. where to buy the well, yarn. The pattern, the pattern came out on the Thursday. Released. It's called chain, chain, the chain sweater. The chain sweater. It's designed by, by Pope Vergara, and her name is not Pope. That's just her. That's knit, her knit name. Her knit name. <laughs> her knitwear designer name. Her name is actually Josefina. Oh, that's very. So cute. I apologize if you're watching this. Thank you for correcting me, and. Uh, it's pronounced Pote Vergara. Beautiful sweater. Um, we showed the kits that we had last week. Well, what's the update on the kits? What's the story? <clears throat> the update is this blue kit, I think, sold out I like know. four I, times. Yeah, that, that I, I kept knew was calling be Iris. The, 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 we need to reorder another set of four, yeah, another yeah. set, and yeah. another set. It was just beyond. So, congratulations, Iris. Your colorway is magnificent. Uh, we're getting a restock this Wednesday. And I believe if anyone missed the restock they order, still, it's can, an, they can always still order. reorder. They can There's still no order. pressure. Right. right. But they, it's still on the website where they could place an order. You can and place an order. A, right. It, yeah. uh, some of the colorways I think might be available to ship. We might have. Um, on Wednesday, you're talking about. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of which colors are available to ship. I think the designer's choice was available to ship. Which was the designer's choice? That was the one that was originally, like it's in the cover of the pattern. It's light pink is. with a uh, lavender chain. The, is it's that very the one soft that came looking. with, it was too dark, the colorway? No. No, that's the one that I want to knit, the oh, bright okay. one. okay, gotcha. Yeah, so we're waiting for that pop color. <laughs> um, anyway, we will cover that again if you're interested. I think some people had asked for some variations. We were talking about the hydrangea colorway, weren't we? You and I? Yes, I ordered a navy kit. A navy with like that hydrangea yes, colorway. Which that would, would be, be very pretty. pretty. That would be a pretty colorway. Um, so we have new colorways coming in. Uh, what else can I say? When we come in, we'll show you probably next we'll week. Show, yeah, yeah, we'll revisit the kits. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Some people had asked, there's a lot of shimmer and glitter. So this section right here mm-hmm. has sparkle with sequins and so does the top beads. Section. And this section up here and just beneath here. So some people had asked, how can we do it without the sparkle? And the way to do it is with, well, Iris had suggested doubling a mohair. I'm also suggesting that you could take a fingering weight and a mohair to create that lace panel. I think a double mohair well, might is, be sheer. What is she using there with the beads? Beaded, it's beaded silk and sequins. So the By beaded, itself? Correct. Doubled? No. Beaded silk and sequins is a silk fiber, a mohair with a strand of the beads in the sequins. Couldn't you take this and put it with mohair, the body color? Well, what if you didn't want mohair? Could you put it? You couldn't use this you by could, itself? You could use this by itself, but part of the beauty here is the layering of not only the color, the texture, but also texture and fiber. Yeah, but I see, I would so, do it without the fiber and the beads. The, I would do it just so with there the yarn. Are, so, 
we I discovered there were people that were interested in that. Yeah. And that's definitely a possibility. But don't forget, that means you might need an extra skin because you. Yeah, need well, it that's here, what you'd have to there. you'd have to find out if you right. need an extra skin. Right. You'd have to add that yardage in. So. That being said, this has been a lot of fun. We have, um, I do have a new colorway that I concocted with Iris. I can't wait to see that one. Mm -hmm. And if there's a specific colorway you're interested, feel free to email. And well, you can also know. go on the website and look at the yarn that you have there too. I mean, you could. You I don't could know. If all, so that was the question. A lot you of people have asked. to have this if you don't want it. No. So. Right. You could just. You know, make it up with. You could make it another color, obviously. Right. Absolutely. Unless so you we want could, the glitter. Unless you want the. Well, the glitter in the chain is really just a filament. Yeah, that that, that doesn't now, bother me. That I also me. have sequin filaments that could be paired along, like you know how we have the sparkle that goes in the the hat, the mm. city lights hat. Right. We have add-on filaments that can be added to any of the fibers so just let us know but you wouldn't put that in in the, the gold section no that one you could put the right cranky. right the, right that the strand the single strand of fiber not okay. with the beads or right. just without do it plain. the beads without the beads right? no beads no beads right anyway there are plenty of options but thank you all for those of you who are interested in the piece the uh initial wave all the orders went out and uh if you're you getting still, more in this week, yes, and those so those orders in. are pending. Mm -hmm. What else can I say? Yeah, so the show notes hopefully will be modified. I was away over the weekend, so I didn't have the laptop with me to modify them. And I'm hoping that this week when I put in the show notes, sure. they will be with links that actually work. Well, they have all the other times. What? So I guess I'm, I'm perplexed because I've done what did everything. You do? But you don't normally do it that way. It is the same way I do it. Well, what's different? There's got to be one thing that's different. You used to do it. Right. For and a bit, I would you send did it, it to you. And I would upload it. Right. Now, because you're at school and I want to... Yeah, but when you would, when I sent it to you, I was messaging it to you, correct? Mm -hmm. Right. So you would have it and you would just take it from there, copy it, and paste it right into correct. the YouTube, right? Right. So now I put it in my notes. Right. And I don't share it's the note to myself. It's getting from notes, though. Be, though Maybe you I can't. Need. Because you know what? When you go to do that on notes, it comes up to collaborate or whatever. And that's the difference. Maybe. And if you do it one way, it doesn't go. So maybe I did it the wrong, right. the wrong way. I'd have to check it because I know I've had that issue. Because when I would send it to you, I would always send it to me first to make sure the links were live. Said that I had done it the right, right. way because of that collaborate thing. I don't know what that meant. But anyway, you know, again, too much technical too information. Much te yeah, for I people that aren't, <laughs> that aren't savvy. savvy when it comes to the technology. Speaking of savvy, I was just telling Pam, my son, God bless him. Jake, oh, God bless him. If you're ever watching this, <laughs> looking back, you're, he just uploaded a new app. I think it just got approved by Apple. I don't know that it's actually really. It's, not, it's, it's in not the, live no, yet. No, it's yeah. in um, t pilot phase. I think maybe testing. Test or something. pilot. Yeah. But stay tuned. It's a cute app, and I swear these things just come so naturally to him. Oh, listen, it's a, you know, like I said to Dinah, it's the the technical knowledge that developed the app, obviously, but it's the idea. It's the right. idea for the app that's the right. biggest part of it. You know. So there you go. Definitely. So anyway, stay tuned. We'll share that when it's, when it's live. When it's live. How was your weekend, Pam? Good. I was telling Dan it was a regular weekend. I couldn't. Uh, I was supposed to get a facial because the knitting ladies had given me for Christmas a gift certificate to Lovely. to a place here in town. So about a month ago, I made an appointment. Okay. But it conflicted. I usually get my nails done on a Saturday. It conflicted with my nails, so I couldn't reschedule the nails for another time. So I had to cancel the nails Na oh i was gonna say did nails veto or facial veto which was vetoed well the nails you canceled the for nails. the facial and right so don't you know i get a call saturday morning they canceled my facial why the gal was had an emergency are you kidding so now did i you call could, rosa i couldn't get my nails done it was too late Double whammy. So I didn't get That's my nails not done. That's <laughs> not fair. Hey, I no mean, pampering <laughs> at all. And I was so, you know, it's funny because 
I was, you know, there was a very nice girl at the place that helped me with the facial telling me, well, don't do like the Cadillac of facials. Get a regular facial and then do add-ons. Like you could add on the light, you know, the light therapy that they do, like a red light, a blue light. You've heard I've them talk heard about it. that, no? Whatever. So in any event, needless to say, that was extremely annoying. So I spent my day doing laundry. No. Food shopping. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then the kids came over later on, so it really was. It was a lovely day, but it was rather a disappointing day. You know, from that standpoint, yes. from that yeah. standpoint, I've got nothing to complain about. And then Sunday was uh, Sunday. What did I do? Oh, I told till day, and I went thrifting with a friend of mine. That sounds like fun. Who likes to go thrifting? <laughs> I always love doing. I've it. never been. No, no. There's the a, kids love to do it. The, there's a place the I used to go it. with a friend of mine. We used to go on Saturdays to like tag sales. It was so much fun. Um, but we went. A friend of mine, when church was over, she messaged me and she said, "How about we go?" Thr thrifting there was a place on old country road so we went there and uh, it was lots of fun it was fun and then we went we sat in her backyard had a coffee and she gave me some cuttings from her lilac tree oh so i've got the most delicious lilacs at home oh my goodness oh, it smells fragrant delicious. yes it must be so fragrant. yes 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 so that was a that was an added plus so that was my weekend lovely how about yours we last minute booked a trip to go visit our friends in Texas. Are they living there now? No. Oh. They're doing some work there. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> I better put this on do not disturb. There you go. Focus. Okay. So we went down there. We checked out a project that they had started on. And we got the lay. We flew into Dallas. When you say projects, are they building a home? They're building. Um, yeah, they're doing a spec house. Mm -hmm. So we saw the neighborhood that they were building in, and we just got the whole lay of the land of Dallas. Nice. We were staying like in the center of and Dallas. Yes, and it's crazy because like the different places that we went to, it felt like we were like think of a bicycle, right? the center of a bicycle and all the spokes and you go right. to the different towns. Right, right, right. That's what it felt like Dallas was what like. What towns did you go to? We went to a place called Oak, Oak Lawn, mm -hmm. Highland Village, mm -hmm. I want to say. Mm -hmm. We went to, we were in Uptown, Downtown. Um, my goodness, it was like a crash visit. Yeah, because you weren't there visit. that long. <laughs> no. there that long. It was hard to remember everything, but like we went to that fancy neighborhood where the bushes live. Oh, yeah, live. yeah, yeah. Um, what was the other one? I thought they were in Houston. They have a place in Dallas. I don't know. That's what the taxi driver said. He oh, was, was that right? The Uber driver. Yeah, I don't maybe know. Maybe they I'm probably wrong. they probably do. I don't know. The reason um, I'm asking is because when I used to work for Lord and Taylor years ago, we I went to Dallas and they had, um, you know, not in in Dallas per se, but they had, you know, different um, in different. Uh, cities or towns they had Lord and Taylor's like there was a Plano Texas okay it was a I can't remember anything else right now I'm sure if you said it I would know it but I'm not sure if they were even near Dallas but they must be because we were in Dallas and one thing when I saw it, at that time it was such a small city okay I mean you're used to New York City right compared to New York City is the, well it seems small to me it's different because it's not really walkable mm -hmm. it's walkable like okay you're we were out across from the AT&T building yeah. um it was a busy weekend i think the Mavericks were playing the NRA convention oh. was going on there no. was the rodeo going oh, on, which we just stumbled upon Tammy surprised us with tickets oh that's fun crazy yeah that was it's like more frightening in person oh really oh my goodness more frightening in person look at me i'm turning bright red <laughs> Be getting hot. Yes. Um, so, yeah, a lot of fun. Well, that's good. Crazy fun. Good. Got a pair of little fringe, shorty, short, like cowboy boots. Oh, that did I you? Oh, yes. how cute. You have to get the cowboy boots. Yeah, it was good. Well, that sounds like fun. Yeah. But anyway, it was all good. And here I am. There you go. Got up at five this morning. Oh, you and she flew in this morning. Flew in too. this morning, yes. And here we are. Did you fly direct, or did you have a? We flew direct. Oh, thank God. Uh, we left. I think the hotel around six. The flight was at eight fifteen. We were about forty minutes away. You know, well, whatever. Everything takes time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But did I was you sleep impressed. on the plane. I did not. I slept. I did not. Mm -mm. You're a sleeper. I know. I sleep in my bed. 
<laughs> not auto plane. No, I don't sleep in the car. I don't sleep on a train or a plane or an automobile. <laughs> you know, it's just in my bed. Yeah. I wish I did, but mm -hmm. it's okay. There you go. Yeah. Anyhow, what are you wearing? Shall we talk about June Drifter? This is my June Drifter. If you can see, it has a lace down there. You see? Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Love the color. It's knit like sideways. A brick. I think we knit this in uh, merino mm -hmm. linen, color brick or something like mm -hmm. that. Exactly. We did this last year. This was in Italy last year. Is that woolen pine? Woolen pine, yes. yes. Woolen pine. Beautiful pattern. The dune drifter. Yep. Very nice. We uh, did a lot of modifications to that in our knit along. There were a lot of people who wanted it longer, or wider. Yeah, and because shorter. it's knit side to side. The modifications were very, the altering was very different. It's not like you can just mm -mm. Go add longer. Length. You're right. You can't do it that way. So everything you know, you is a function of something with a cast on. Right. So that was fun. It was a fun knit. Along. It was a fun knit, and I love the colorway. That's very pretty. Yeah. I'm wearing Yumi, designed by Isabel Kramer. It was knit in tin Lena, which is the thin version of Lena. And mm. I have to say, I was just telling Pam. It's like it a cloud, is so right? light. Love it. Love the pretty lace yoke. Short sleeve, perfect for mm -hmm. hot flashes in this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, what else? That's I'm trying to think. Anything else? That's not, you know, of course we have plenty of knitting to talk about. Yeah. But I um, have to say something. Sure. I was reading one of the comments yeah, I was on say, our YouTube podcast. To take a look at and, you know, Mother's Day, I think it was Eunice who mentioned that she had her whole family over. Mm. I think there were 35, it was kids, grandkids, and she just had the best day ever. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I, I sounded like, and I'm, I'm speaking for myself, yeah. when I don't ever want to sound like I'm unappreciative, like I'm always very grateful when my kids and my family mm -hmm. are around. Mm -hmm. I, but I think, like I was trying to think of why on Mother's Day I wouldn't necessarily want to be hosting everyone. And I think it's because I host them a lot. Right. You do it a lot. Do I do it a lot. It a lot. So it you would do. be nice to be on the other side of the fence. Of course, of course. But after reading that she was just so grateful to have everyone around her, like I was thinking, you know what, maybe I should just zip it and do that, have everyone over and I mean, it would still be a party, you know what I mean? It would still be a celebration. Of course, I'd be working the same, you know, just a little bit more, but right. whatever. Well, listen, I, th I think, listen. I was kind of feeling guilty, like. No, I, I don't think so. I mean, I don't think you were saying anything bad. No. You know, and I think it's something that many. But almost, un like, almost ungrateful. Like, you know, it's, right. it's, I'm very grateful when all the kids are around. Mm-hmm. My mom is around. If I can have my brother and Michelle and Noah, my father-in-law, my brother-in-law. Like, it's fun. It's fun mm -hmm. having everyone. Even mm -hmm. if I can extend now to Roche's family or even if Isaac's family, you know, parents were in town. We could just do a whole big The problem is as event. families start to grow. It's so hard. It's very difficult. Like, you know, you have it's your hard. mom, th thankfully, is still around. Yes. You know, you have your father-in-law here. You know, and now your son is married, and soon, you know, they're going to be parents at some point, and so it's going to be her mother's day. Right. So it just adds complexity onto it, you know. And It's definitely right. complex, because you, even now right. with Mother's Day, are they with their family or with our well, family? Well, the same it's thing with Shabbat. Danielle, even Danielle, with her boyfriend, yeah. you know. It's Mother's Day, but it's his mother's Mother's Day, 100%. too. 100%. So, you know, it just get, adds layers of complexity it's to it. definitely hard. You know, it really does. And, um, you know, for me and my daughter, you know, it's her Mother's Day as well. So I always feel that, and I say this to her, listen, it's your Mother's Day. Do what makes you happy with your family because she has the little kids. And, you know, there's nothing like having Mother's Day with little kids. It's so cute. I said that to my teacher at school. She has twin first graders. And I said, it's you miss that when your kids are grown. My kids used to bring me breakfast in bed. 
on Mother's Where Day, and then days? they would have the little things that they made in school. You know, whatever the it might cards, have been. The yeah, the plants, the, the plants, ceramics. Said at right, right. I've only got that this year too, and so so cute. You know, to me, that is what I miss the most with Mother's Day. All yeah. those things. That's really what I miss. Everything else is just you know. Love. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, I just have to say that I enjoyed reading the comments. I always love reading the comments. I'm trying yeah, to th I, I haven't really looked at them in the past few days, so I'm trying to remember if there was anything that was special that was... Um, For some reason, that one just that one stuck. stuck, it, stuck, a, a stuck it hit a chord. It, it hit a chord. <laughs> yeah. It's like giving me like a different perspective. Well, that's good. That's That's a good thing. Yeah. That's a good thing. Sometimes, you know, even if it's, you know, it just makes you look at things from an, another perspective it doesn't mean you have to I wasn't agree with this or agree right, with that right. but it just gives you a different outlook right. on something that maybe you hadn't right. had before we should just feel very blessed yeah so anyway I went with Emily Friday for coffee and uh, Reese who's 10 months old will not drink out of a straw isn't it too soon no it's not nope nope a sippy cup oh sippy or cup straw is whatever it is he won't. He won't suck it up. No. How you can teach even him? pouches. He was over the other day, he and she was giving him some people food. But then she said, "You know, I have to supplement it with a pouch." So she gave him a pouch. The you know, kid wouldn't drink. He wouldn't eat out of the pouch. So, so crying, he wanted her to, to put thing? it in a bowl and with a little bit. Sometimes but she'll mix some oats with it, and to spoon feed it to him. But does he take the spoon and try to eat himself? No, he can't no. do that yet. He can't do that yet. And and so then I said, okay, let me do that. So I put it in a bowl, and I put a little bit of oats in it, you know, made it a little thicker, mm -hmm. and I spoon-fed it to him. It's like a little bird opening his mouth. He That's what he wanted. I said, he wanted this to be spoon-fed. Because he like doesn't drink anything. Thing. He doesn't drink anything. <laughs> So anyway, so then we That's did, hysterical. we started the search on online to, you know, how you get a baby to sip, to, yeah. Slurp. <laughs> well, he's, he's not having any of it. He's not having any of it. That's very anyway. cute. I would have been like, I would have liked to have seen that. That's funny. I have a video on my phone. I have to show you of him eating, you know, he was eating, um, it was people food. It was like a pancake and, uh. He's just putting it, he's picking it up, putting it in his mouth. He doesn't do a spoon yet. He doesn't do a utensil yet, you know. That's like such a fun time. I know. Well, yeah, yes and no. You know, when they're not, you know, you get when nervous. trying to eat and they get more food on their face than they do in their oh, mouth. I, I love oh, that. A, yeah, that. <laughs> he loves oh, to so eat. Cute. He loves to eat. That's anyway. so cute. So there, I had to mention that. So what do we have that's knitting? What are we talking about? I... I was telling Pam, me and my knits are not doing very well. Oh, why? I don't know about that. <laughs> why? Why aren't they doing well? Well, I don't know about you guys, <laughs> but I just had a major realization. <laughs> I'm coming clean. Oh, I'm coming funny. very clean. Mm, you're so funny. What was it, the garden cardigan? It was last week. We had like a, we were hysterical here in the shop. It was one of those times you just couldn't stop laughing. But it was on the needles, Diana, so you have to say that. We were looking at the garden cardigan, which is done body-wise. Now we have to do the sleeves. Here, let me pull so it So Diana on. took it. Did you, try, did you try it on? Did you put it on? That Not day, since that day. No, that day you did. And, yes, but the bottom yes. hem of it is on a needle, mind you. It's not, so you can't. Here, and it hasn't it been blocked. My garden cardigan. Did you give it steam? No. Oh, there you go. Here it is. So, progress report. Oh, it's go. a little wrinkled from the pouch. From the bag. Um, it's knit top down. Mm -hmm. I put the bottom on hold, and I figured I would knit the sleeves, and then work my way down on the hem. Oops, sorry. Let me just put this on the tape, because it's going out. Okay. Well, I went to slip it on. <laughs> Like so. <laughs> and what do we always say? What do you say? Take a cardigan, one of your favorite sweaters. Yeah, right. Measure it. Get your size. <laughs> Sound familiar? It's like a sausage cover. I don't know about that, Diana. <laughs> Look at this. It doesn't even come close to closing. Yeah, but you've got all of this back. This is all here, and it's not stretching because you're on the needle. 
So my I question to you fine. is how many of you can relate? <laughs> how many of you think you may be a size smaller than the size that you're actually or you you might think you're smaller and when you go to pick a size to knit at the end of your project you're like uh oh i think i knit the wrong size well let's but let's say again this is not dinah's not wearing something that's off the needles and blocked she's wearing something that's not blocked if i remember correctly it's a lace i pattern. slid it off the needle no you, I, you did, did you slid it slide it well let's put it this way the sweater bust is supposed to be 45 you are not a 45 you're like a 40 so you should have five inches of positive ease there. Clearly. Well, so I am knitting so it tight. It's not like No, I'm knitting it much tighter. Okay, so maybe by accident. Okay, yeah. so maybe your gauge is tighter. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that you're I think Dinah's thinking that she's imagining imagining herself being smaller than she is. Am I right? <laughs> yes. And Dinah and I, I laugh guess Dinah thinking. and I laugh about that because being in the shop and I'm gonna say it. I'm okay. not naming names. It's a constant theme. It's a, it is. When we people, see people come in, you know, and you want to be polite, you know, they, they're picking a size that they're going to make, and we always measure people, and they make a smaller size than they should. No. Let's just say it starts like this. Hi, I would like to make a sweater. I'm going to make the garden cardigan. Oh, what is your bus size? Well, I'm a 36. I'm going to knit... The, 40. the 42. The 40. It's a 40. It's 40? Okay, oh, it's the 40. Whatever. And then... Maybe it's a 42. With all due better. respect, I know I'm a 40. Actual bust. Mm -hmm. And let's say I'm looking at the person in front of me, and I might say, okay, we may have close to the same body type. I think the... They'll, Where tell, people you what, go they'll wrong, tell you what size bra they're wearing. 36. And that's, that's not, exactly what I was just going to say. That's not relative to it's what not your measurement here. is. It's not your right. rib cage. Right. 36 is your rib cage. Correct. It's not right. your right. cup size. It's right. not the girls. It doesn't include the girls. No. So then we go and we take a measurement across the bust. Mm -hmm. And clearly they, they need to make a, a different size. size. Mm -hmm. And it's a very common, common, common mistake. So I was just laughing because I feel like i am become that person where I think I might be smaller. And I know I'm not referring to my bra size, right? but it's clearly my gauge. My gauge is Correct. smaller. Correct. Okay. Well, that's a different story. So I'm frustrated. I'm really frustrated. I'm hoping that Sophie really likes this cardigan. I, I, think, I think that you'll be able to wear it, Diana. It's called the Garden Cardigan. I'll just show it again. It's designed by Anka Strick. Let me give you the proper. And Diana, uh, she did not bind off on the bottom hem because if she finds it to not be long enough, she can just add on add in the lace pattern um, yeah. and make it longer. Or I can rip out and make but it But what Diana is talking about <laughs> now is she's talking about um, the overall fit of the sweater. And I said right. to Diana, I pointed out to you, though, that of all the sweaters that you've made, over all the years, everything always fits you. Yes, it you does. don't run into this issue. No. So I mean, because it may have happened, maybe on this one, like you're saying, it's your gauge is tighter. And the crazy thing is, what annoys me is that when we would we debated over the size for the sweater. I mean, what's the width of this? Am I? That's what I'm telling you. It's going to fit you when you put it on. You need to. It's a lace pattern that will open up. It needs a wet block. You may need to add length to it. I don't know. Anyway, because if you pull frustrated. it this way, it's gonna it's gonna be shorter. So that that's my thing. I think it's gonna fit her. I but. knit it in Rowan felt a tweed, and it, the colorway is called peach. So that is my garden cardigan, and I'm trying to knit eight rows, or I'm up to the rounds because I'm in the sleeve eight about rounds, yeah. an inch a day. So that by the next class, I will You'll be... You'll have a sleeve done. No, I'm hoping to have two sleeves done. If I'm halfway... An inch a day, it's a 16-inch sleeve. Well, you forget, it's a 16-inch, but you've got how many inches knit already? 
All right, so let's just say this is so one week. Got, in the next week, if I finish this sleeve, and then it's two more weeks for the right. next class. Oh, I thought you were going to say you were going to have it, oh, by the class. I thought you were saying yes. by next Monday. No. Because you could do that by next Monday. No, 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 no. <laughs> About eight rounds, maybe ten if I can squeak out two If you're more. lucky. You know, as the rows get, as the rounds get smaller, it's easier. But I'm hoping for the next class I'll be ready to do my um, tubular. tubular bind off on both the ribbing as well as the body. But you have to see. I don't know about that because you, you, I'm not taking the to, uh, the correction. Right, yeah. right. Sorry, guys. I, yeah, my time. I, don't, I don't know if you can the do consideration that. of knitting finishing the body right but i'm hoping my sleeves will at least get done and i've lost my stitches there you go okay there you go that's Next. dinah's that's dinah's uh tales of woe <laughs> <laughs> well speaking of the garden cardigan I, i'll show you mine then right crazy just a quick show because it's basically the same as dinah's and it's the same yarn it's well the, tell them what you did what kudos to you what did you you didn't you readjust your stitches Oh, I took them out. Yeah, I did take them out. We did the, we did, um, did we do the Zoom last week on this? I'm so confused. We did the Zoom last week. And I realized during the Zoom that my lace panel, my lace was not matching up. It was off by one stitch. And I hadn't done that much. I said, you know what, I'm taking it out. <clears throat> so anyway, this is the same yarn. It's the Rowan Felted Tweed. It's the Colorway Cumin. And it's beautiful. It is, yeah, I've only done this much of my sleeve. But I did take it out, and it does line up now. See? So what we're talking about, why don't you show them? Yeah. Well, uh, we discussed the pickup, and there's this center lace panel right down the, the side seam. Mm -hmm. And she was very clever in the way she had us pick up the stitches. It continues yeah. onward underneath. Excuse I'm me, the entire I'm wondering if I'm tighter in the round than I am. See, I'm being conscientious. Yeah. Since I've messed up the whole sweater, at least my sleeves won't be tight. <laughs> there you go. So anyway, so then that sleeve has to be done. The other sleeve has to be done. And I have not finished my rib because, as Dinah has said, I may add length onto it. I don't know. It's beautiful. It does. You know, I measure it, and I know what the measurement is, but it just seems short to me. It's crazy, right? Yeah. I might have to rip back the ribbing and add in the lace Yeah, well, pattern. you know what? I would rather do that. It's extra work, but at least okay. you'll, if it's not the right length, you're not going to wear it. No. I'd so rather do that. Correct. For that's, sure. that's my garden cardigan. So what do you have done? Anything else? So my next tale of well. <laughs> What's that? What's your next tale of Let's move on to the silk. It was the silk that we had last week. No, we didn't. No, we had this last week. We oh, so okay. Because I haven't I touched solid. myself since the, the okay. class we had. So, Sylph is a pattern. Oh, I know what happened to you. <laughs> this is something that does happen to people, and this is really a shame. Sylph is a design. It's a shawl designed by pattern. Natasha Hornby. I'll show you the pattern. How's it's that? absolutely gorgeous. Here it is. I decided to take it off my needles. Did you take it out? I didn't rip it yet. And this is it. Lovely. I decided to start over because as I was adjusting my shawl, like so, I popped a stitch. You know when you get like a run in your stocking? Oh, well, guess what? Right there in my garter stitch edge, the yarn snapped. Look at this. When she stretched it. Do you see that? Mm-hmm. There, there it is, is against your shirt, yeah. Just snapped. Look at where it snapped. How far before, up is it, too? It's before the flowers. Before the first, I mean, it's like right after the first Are you going to take the whole thing out? I started over. Oh, you just started I over. I started the entire piece over. So what ended up happening is that I was knitting this garter stitch edge way too tightly. Mm-hmm. And not consistent with the rest of my shawl. So this will be ripped. And I got as far as the first chart. Oh, good. Have you but changed your needle size? <clears throat> I have not changed my needle size. I'm just oh, yeah, more familiar. You are looser now. Much looser. And I'm okay with that. Okay. Well, that. I hate to say it looks nicer, Dinah. It's much nicer. It's much nicer. It's softer. Mm-hmm. It's elastic. Look at that. Look at the stretch in that. Uh, 
<laughs> it's like, don't squeeze the Charmin, but you could squeeze the silk. Exactly. Um, so, tale of so woe number two. Lesson learned is... Yes. Don't be, be afraid to start over if you have to. No. And I mean, look, I think I could have tried to repair it, but I didn't want that... But you didn't... You felt that it was too dense to begin with, I think. You felt it, wasn't it was too even tight. That, I was afraid that I would get... It's very hard to reconstruct garter stitch on an edging. Right, 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 right. right to repair. Right, right, that is true. And then I would have all of these loose ends, and I was scared that if I... If it opened up? No. What if I go to bl wet block it, yeah, and it pops. And then the other side pops. Yeah. I mean, well, it's just an all, accident. Especially if the whole thing was done. That's so much work. Just an accident waiting so to happen. So much so work. close enough to the beginning. Um, again, this is self. It's designed by Natasha Hornby. I'm using felted tweed. Love this yarn. However, it's soft. Right. I mean, if you give it a tug, it's going to snap. Well, it's not super wash. Yep. That's what happens. So, number two. There you go. I've got a third one. You do? Oh, I know. That's not that bad, though. The third one that you're going to show. This is the progress on my Stella Alpina. Oh, Pam, that's gorgeous. I split for the sleeves. There you go. And I've done Oof, you know, a little look bit. Look at that. Again, I also did my... Clearly, you're knitting the right size. <laughs> I did the short rows. Um, the short rows were done on the back, so you oh, can so see. what technique did you use? I in did the, the German short rows. Okay, I was in examining the pattern. I and I was looking at projects. It seemed to me that because the short rows come around, they work around and then further and further, and it's on stockinette. It seemed when I looked at some of the projects, I felt I could see. Where the short rows where were. Where the short rows were. That's and, a little pet peevey for me. <clears throat> yeah, and especially it's a cotton and it's stockinette, you know. So I did the Unless German short row. Unless it's a design row. element. Right. Now I'm not saying mine are perfect. I'm sure they're not. I'm sure that if we looked no hard, one's inspecting. we could see them. But you see over here I could see them there. But that's not Did bad. you use that technique? No, I did not because I couldn't. Because my short rows didn't look like her short. You know how the short rows are different? She was closing up the short rows on a knit side. Interesting. M mine didn't look like hers. I couldn't do it. Wow. I don't know. I don't, you know. That would have been if you were coming up to them, like, you know. From and you right were, to left. Right. And I, I couldn't I couldn't do it. Interesting. So, and, I, and they looked fine when I did them. So I said, you know what? It's not that bad. It's not bad at all. We were just so. having a discussion about resolving the short rows. And you know whose method that is? That is Patty Lyons. Hmm. Um technique for um it's a little trick she has for so that it's you don't brilliant. so that you don't sometimes a german short row looks a little wonky on one of the sides yes and she has a way that you can resolve the short row and make it look like it's nice even stuck in it right it was patty lyons thank you so, patty anyway there you go if you ever want to look at that just give that a look Look up, but this is the made out of Lena. Could you just leave that off for a moment? Sure. Just it, to talk about my third table. It's, it's made out of <laughs> Lena. The rest of the body is stockinette. The only decision I really have left is whether I want to make it A-line. Hmm. They say go four inches from the underarm. And if I want and to make decide. it A-line, I only have to add four stitches. It's like... Oh, so why not? I might as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so I haven't gotten to that point yet, but I think this is so pretty. I love it. So I pretty. love the whole lace and the yoke. Yes, yeah, and it's not you it's know, gorgeous. Not difficult. What am I leaving this out for? This is the front. That's the back. This is the this is the front. There you go. So for my next project, my third tale of woe. Well, let me just start by saying, <laughs> have you split for the sleeves? Have you split the sleeves? Yes, you did. Okay, which is not helping. I didn't know if that you would help. <laughs> I would have hope if I hadn't. So <laughs> let me just share that when I was in Texas, I walked into a lovely shop. I wanted to get a pair of cowboy boots. And it just so happened, I was giving my email, and the email that I gave was Dynamore Designs, my Ravelry right, right, email. Right. Yeah. It's just my, becomes more of my personal email than work. Right. And she asked me what I designed. So I told her knitwear. And she said, no way, I knit. How cute is that? The woman behind the counter, how random. She's a knitter. She actually shops from 
a shop. Her son went to school in Colorado, mm. and she uh, gets shop yarn out there. in Colorado, Colorado, and that's where she gets her oh, kits online. Nice. Yeah. But needless to say, I asked her what she was knitting on, and she was knitting on a loopy mango kit. And I said, well, I have knitting with me all the time, and this was actually hanging from, from my, my bag. Back, yeah. So I take this out. It's my beautiful salmon sat sweater designed by Elspeth Judith. And she said, oh, wow, who's that for? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Robin, it was a pleasure meeting you. But if you do watch this podcast, because I told her I would give her a shout out, the sweater is for me. But clearly, it looks like it might fit one of my children. <laughs> I, I, th I think that's a gauge issue, Dinah. I really do. I mean, I don't know. I'm wearing lean, Tin Lena right now. I know That's that it can same. open up. Yep. But am I going to look like a sausage cover? Well, if you Am I going to look like the do, sausage in the cover is yeah, the question. If you do, you're not going to wear it, no, clearly. I'm not going to wear it. I want to see your gauge on this. What's it supposed to be? Do you know? 24. Is it? It looks like it's right. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's not right, Dana. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. You're getting six and a half, seven stitches to the inch. Yeah, but blocked. That well, would be twelve. Well, but no. it's a half a stitch. Yeah, that makes a big difference. A half a stitch. But that's not blocked yet. But it's a whole stitch, Dinah. I don't know. I think that it's, you know, I think that's why it looks small. That's why it looks small. What it's you should blocked. do is you should block it. Well, anyway, I'm not ripping it out. I considered it. You, uh, I wouldn't want to rip that out. I could give it to my mother. She's so tiny. Yeah. This would look so cute on her. Oh, that's such a shame, though, Diana. Why? It's such a great, that's a great top. That's she a great top. This. Third tail of what? What's what is the finished size on that? Do oh, I don't know. I you know what? I was like thinking about that. I was going to do an Instagram post. <laughs> when you're knitting so many projects, I how know, do you manage? I know, I know. I you know, I've got eight happening. rounds on my garden cardigan. I've got two rounds or four rounds on this. <laughs> but it's easy it's to so get hard. confused with. I'm doing the and second size think, on this, and I'm doing the fourth size on that. I and, can't. I've got too many things going on. Right. So I'm afraid I don't know what size. So can I put this way now? Yes, because now what I want to do is just compare it to Pam's, and you could see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, but you're not looking so at So, Robin, I think you're in the right when you say, who am I knitting that for? It's a very good question. Well, oh. again, I, I don't know, Diana. I think you need to finish it. I think you need to block it. I think my mother will look fabulous in this top. <laughs> You're so funny. You're so Hi. funny. But this okay. is what happens sometimes, you know. You gotta kind of just go with the flow, right? I was really looking forward to that yeah. top. Well, anything else that you have? I have one more thing. How about you? I have. Oh, I gotta reach it. We yeah. have our self class yeah, tomorrow. That's what I have. That and I have my other not self. Excuse me, Neela. Neela. The Neela is designed by. Uh, I'm not going to show you myself because I haven't done anything. Natasha Hornby. It's a top down construction. I don't have the picture of the Neela. You can yet. knit it as a tank or a T, and it could be three quarter short sleeve. You know, you can always modify the T. And this is not much, but this is the, the top of the back. It starts up here, center back. And it's gone, you can see the, I guess the raglan, right? And now I'm going, am I doing this right? Now I'm just starting to go down straight. So I have to do another couple of inches on this, and then I don't know what comes next. But that's the beginning of my Neela. I use Sunday. Yep, can you see it? It's, it's a lovely top. It's got a lace panel on the construction. I use Sunday from San Niscorn. Um And there you go. What it's size a, needle did you end up with? Two and a half. 
which Very is what she top. recommends. And that's it. I think it's got nice stitch definition. Beautiful. The it's twisted really stitches. And that's what I've done so far in my Nila. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. So you start at the back and you can see that she's shaping the back slope of the shoulder. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to pick up stitches and work forward and work forward. And then you join it all in the round. And what am I working on? My top of my arm? Is that yeah. what it is? Like yeah. coming across here. Coming across, right. It's a very, um, I mean, it's a, it, you know, it's a fun knit. It gives you something to remember what row you're doing. You know, it's not, it's the same, but it's not all the same, mm -hmm. you know, so that was fun. And uh, that's it. It's interesting is I think what you're trying to say. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's not yeah, boring. It holds your interest. It holds your interest. Holds your interest. Right. 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 I right. would agree right. with that. Right. So I found that interesting. Um, this is mine. So we have this class that starts tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it in marine, knitting it in merino linen. Mm -hmm. I've gotten probably to about the same spot. Mm -hmm. Notice. <laughs> she can pull I was it. very mindful. Now about talking my, about <laughs> size on this look. one, the size it's a forty-five finished. Very mindful. <laughs> I went for the 45 inch finish bust right. to make sure that I have no problems. Again, mm -hmm. it's a pretty stitch definition. This Very is pretty. merino linen, 90% merino, 10% linen. And uh, it's interesting so far. I'm excited to do the pickup because you have it on a slope and it's working this way. It'll be interesting to see how it comes together for the front. Yeah, very pretty. Yeah, it's always interesting when you're working that. on an, a different construction. I love it. Always makes it interesting. So there you go. So that's our progress on the Neela. And you have one more, if I'm not mistaken. I do. The only other thing I have is the, um, as we've mentioned, I think we, did we mention it, Diana, in a previous podcast about the um, Jethro? Yes, our crochet in May design. Correct. That we have selected. It's the Jethro. Mm -hmm. It's designed by Tannis Fiber Arts. It uh, is a beautiful cardigan. It combines crochet, which you'll find the squares in the fronts, and it actually is the panel that's in the back as well. And this was a square that, oops, and that, that, that I got this is that, that I did this weekend. Beautiful, Pam. Love your palette. Do you like the colors? I do. Pam selected her colors, and then the sleeves, the ribbing, and the border Ouch. are knit. Correct. Correct, correct. So, you know, each square is ended with this main color. So it's that's beautiful. where you get a look like it's a little more cohesive look. But every square will not be the same. There'll be different, you know, start with different colors, you know, whatever. Very pretty. And I have a combination of yarns from um, Sanisk on the Double Sunday, um, Hedgehog, and yeah, so I Madeline think we, Tosh. <laughs> we had initially we had initially put kits together using just Santa's Gorn Double Sunday. And I don't know if you can see in this one that one in the center there that changes. There is one it's this one right here, the this round right yeah, after yeah. the camel. Yeah. That just changes color and it's very right. pretty. Right. It's so cohesive in there and it makes everything blend so oh, nicely. Shoot. That's this color. It's very called pretty. Dune. And I've got a cream, which I won't show you. I've got this color. She doesn't like the cream. I don't, I don't like the cream. No, I don't. You know I don't like it. I'm not a cream person. I've got this color. You want to hold that down? You can always, you can take it out and just sprinkle it in. Yeah, and I, I think color. that I, I will do that. I've got that color and my main color, which is this. Stunning. So there you go. So she'll be knitting the sleeves in this color as well as picking up the stitches for the button band border and the ribbed border right. and again outlining every square in this color to make it more cohesive now not everybody wants to th to do that we i know people who are just stash diving and every square will be different and right. they're just using up their leftovers which is a but great what may what make what might make theirs cohesive if you do that is if you do your last round of each color of each square with the same color and then use that color on your pickup for your bands yes but i'm saying some people not everyone is doing no, that they're not doing it that way no. listen it says each is on as they say yes anyway so i did one square it's a i believe it's about the right size that it's supposed to be but i'm not 100 i haven't really you measured to block it Right, and I didn't block it. I didn't block it either. So it looks very go. pretty. Nice so that's, tension. That's the Jethro. And um, 
we'll see what happens from there, right, Diana? Uh, yes, I've been getting text messages of customers practicing their crochet. Oh, are they? I haven't crocheted in a long time or look at my square. <laughs> They're all getting excited. Well, as they say, you know, she has a video of how she does her granny square, but she clearly says many times in the video, make your granny square the way you make your granny square because there are different ways of doing it. So, like, for instance, she doesn't start with a magic circle or magic loop, whatever it's called. She just does, you know, a regular beginning one. You know, we always do the magic loop, right? And um, just do it the way you do it. Right. We are going to be covering the... Um, we, we're going to start our crochet along, I think it's next Tuesday? May 27th. Yeah. The following Tuesday. Not tomorrow. No. no tomorrow no, is Nila. No. <laughs> tomorrow is the Nila class and a week from tomorrow. A week from tomorrow. So we are Around going that to... that time. I right. might have the wrong date. I'm not sure. I think you're right. So what we're going to be doing is covering the techniques that Tannis does, and we're going to share some techniques that we might admire or like. That we might, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, and you know, you and, you. and you have to do what you're comfortable with. You know, Absolutely. everybody has, it's it's like I compare it to uh, knitting the sleeves on a sweater. Some people like to knit two at a time. Some people, like myself, don't care to do that. It's the same thing with granny squares. Some people like double pointed needles. Other people like uh, just a circular right, right. magic loop. Right. So I mean, you're going to so find the method that, you know, I made that one way. I'm going to make another one another way. And I'm going to see which one I prefer, you know, and, and, but, you know. Most often they're also very interchangeable. Yeah. yeah. If you're consistent. Yeah. So it's a matter of what, which technique you might find more easily right yeah and, and that's what comes too. more natural yeah, to you that's true as well so anyway those are all my projects i have not yet started on my jethro and that's okay there you go all right let's share what's new what is new i was going to say speaking of construction let's do this one first then yes we had mentioned that yamagara designed a new top called Luminous T, and now notice the spelling, L-U-M-I-N-O-S. If you put a U in there, you won't find it. Luminous T, designed by Yamagara. I'll show you it's a picture, cute too. top, an interesting construction. It's knit from the bottom up. And depending on the size that you're knitting, it could be bottom up and maybe in the round, or bottom up and knit flat. So it's based on size. She says, um, go on a unique knitting adventure with a T shaped by triangles and chevrons, ending with delightful, delightful details with lines. It sounds like a very interesting construction. We were reading it earlier. Yes. So I will say, if you hold that picture up, Pam, for one second. This one? No, the, this that one. Up top... She's using a hand-dyed yarn, and here, this sample here is knit with two, two solid colors. It's the same exact design, and it looks like they're pinstripes here, but it's the way the yarn was dyed. It's like a half-dipped dye. So, for example, if you're looking for a kit like this, we have a lot of, I don't know if it's half-dipped, but a technique that resembles it is from Kokon. Most of the kits that we're going to be sharing for today, we didn't do any, we didn't make any Kokon kits. Most of the kits that we have made will look more like this. However, we didn't do solid colors. We used speckled colors. So the grading of the color and the striping will be a little bit more cohesive and not as stark. It's not, yeah, I was just going to say, it's not as uh, stark. Sorry, guys, I have a call. Is it recording? I think, I believe it's recording. So, um, I forgot what I was going to say. It's not, um, I believe the ways that we're showing you are not stark like that because we're showing you with a variegated yarn. So, um, we'll show you those um, pictures. And again, it looks like a very interesting piece. And again, it, it can't be that bad because it doesn't have sleeves. Right? Yep. So that's the luminous tea by Yamagara. It requires um, two, well, we sized it through a size five, 
which is a 50 and a quarter inch bust. She says you can wear it with, um, I believe she said two to four inches of positive ease. So um, our kits consist of three skeins, two of the main color and one of the contrast color. And I believe if you needed a larger size than how we kitted it, you would only need one more of the main color. You would have enough of the contrast color. So the first kit that we're going to show you, excuse me, I dropped a skein, is, um, Diane's got that, it's a, um, what is that color down there called? This is Jane, mm -hmm. and this color here is called March Hair. So it's very pretty, and the skeins are kind of cohesive because you have, Those not kind of, then. they are cohesive, you have the speckles running through it. So although you might get a higher contrast, you'll get the speckles inside. And this one is um, chicory as the main color with heavy metal. So you can see this will be a really fun, um, it's got that gold in it. It's got it's that. very pretty. It's a very pretty, very cohesive colorway. Let me get a bunch. Here, I'll hand them to you. Honey. That's okay. Put them together. And... So some of these are going to have higher contrast and some of them will be a little bit more cohesive. We blended it. This one here is called Antique. This is very soft and we have it paired with a colorway called Lingerie. This is all suburban stitch or sock yarn. So you're going to get a little extra yardage here because you've got 460 yards per skein, giving you a 50, 50 and a quarter inch finish bust. This is um, Neptune on the ends and Sparkle, it's sparkle for the People. Is yes, it's one? a fun color. Sparkle way. for the People. I and think there the you base go. is more like gray and it's got like the speckles. Yep, it's fun. Very right. pretty. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, then here we have Cosmopolitan as the main color with the Nightlife as the, look at that guys, isn't that great? Nightlife as the, um, the center color. Got it? Yes. These colors are so good. Show, show them that one. This one here is called Red Hot, and it really is hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have that paired with Bang Bang. Super fun, totally cohesive. Love it. This next one. I could one. just totally see the chevrons in that. That, that is would just be gorgeous. fire. Wisteria Lane is the main color, and um, what is that? Starstruck is the contrast. Isn't that pretty? Very soft. Very soft. Very pretty. Right, and it'll just blend quite nicely. Okay. This one here is beautiful. It's called Tuva, which is your main color green. And then for the stripes or the chevron section, we paired it with River's Edge. So for all you green lovers, this is beautiful. And if you're a pink lover, <laughs> can't forget our pink. you have Bobby Girl as the main color with Pop Rocks as the accent. So if you do like your pinks, there you go. That one may be for you. You may have to have it. And then that one? Yep. Thank you. And another one is bronze. Look at this bronze and 30A. And that's what this looks like. And if you notice in 30A, you'll see pops. You see that color in there? It's kind of like it's the bronzy color in there. I love it. It yeah. really picks up. And then it's also highlighted with like that like beige shade yeah. in there. Yeah. So there you go. That's bronze Very pretty. in 30A. This one is a little bit less subdued than the red hot. This one is called It's Electric. And we paired that with Flutter. Also beautiful. Love, love, love this combination. And this time we paired Chicory with Oslo. Oslo is a little lighter. Uh, heavy metal has a little more gray vibe going on. But we thought they were both spectacular, so we wanted to offer both of them. So that's Chicory with it's Oslo. very pretty. Mm -hmm. This next kit is Cole with Rorschach. Nothing like a good newspaper print in yeah. between the ink That's quad. just a classic. That's <laughs> a classic, classic, that one. It's going to yeah. be very pretty. 
This one is Elizabeth Taylor. That is stunning. With fire opal. And let me turn that fire opal around so you can see the color is in there. So that is just like a home run. That fire opal with Elizabeth Taylor. It's very pretty. And the last one here is leopard. Did you do this one? Yes. Leopard as the main color with starstruck. That's a favorite color of Dinah's, right, Dinah? You love yes, starstruck. Yeah, I like that one. And again, if you notice, starstruck does have that charcoal running through it. So that's very cohesive. Did I pick that color for the Jethro? I think that's one of your colors for the Jethro, the, that one. Very consistent. <laughs> anyway, so that is for the Luminous Tea. I imagine it's going to be a relatively quick knit. It's got no sleeves. It's got the front and the back. The construction is very clever. So congratulations, Bernice. And Pam and I were actually talking about it. It's a different construction. Yeah, it is, yeah. And it might be worthy of no long. It might be. Just Let because us know of the nature of it's 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 different. It's different, you know, which might be fun. Let us know if you purchased it. She had it on special. And uh, yeah, it's a fun top. Okay, you next up. There. You have that one. We have the Kylie. Kylie pullover. It's designed by Irene Lynn. Pam and I were loving this top. Mm. You see it here featured with long sleeves. Did we include enough yarn for this? No, length? we did not. We not did not. We show them. Is there a picture of it on here with the half sleeve? The half sleeve is like a... Is it there? I'll bring it up on my phone. It's right. It's a thumbnail photo, yeah. unfortunately. So there's a thumbnail photo here. Right there, if you could see it. It kind of reaches the elbow. That is the length of the sleeve that we went for. If you want additional length or additional sizing, you would need to add skeins. We have a fresh delivery of Lena from San Nascarn in the website, on the website, excuse me, it's all online. So if you have been holding out and you've had some patterns, we've covered a lot recently. There was the Thea top, thank you, Pam. This here is the Kylie, designed again by Irene Lynn. This is the three quarter, not three quarter, it's like the elbow length. or short sleeve length and option. And that's what the kit, what would be included in the kit for this kind of sleeve. And if what you, was the finished measurement? Uh, I will tell you, hold on, I, I have to look did at the 48. pattern. <clears throat> Body circumference, 51 I believe. No, we, no, we did, did 48. 48, we did the 48 now. That's the smallest size. She says... Size one. Right. She said um, it's 15 and a quarter positive ease, and that's a tremendous amount of positive ease. But just to give you an idea, the smallest size is 48 bust. Second is 51 and a half. 57 inches, just under 62 inches, and almost 68 inches. Those are your circumferences on the five sizes she's offering. So we kitted it for the 48 which is six skeins of Lena. If you wanted to add the longer sleeves, she... Excuse me, we're, uh, we kitted it with eight skeins of Lena. No, we didn't. We took off the sleeves. Oh. So we, we didn't... This that's is for, for the, the long that's sleeve? That's for the longer sleeve. Oh, okay, if you're short sleeve, reduce it by two balls. Gotcha. So we reduced it, and we went down to six skeins. So now, if you decide... You want the long sleeves, we, we can do two skeins a la carte. If you decide you want to make a larger size, you can again just add those skeins a la carte as well. Now, people have asked me how to do that. So let's just say you buy the Kylie pullover in the beautiful shocking pink. Hmm. This is colorway number 4626. 4626, thank you, Pam. What you would do is you'd buy the Kylie pullover in shocking pink. And then you would go ahead and buy, you would look Search up Santa, Lena. Right, yep. Lena by Santa Scarn, which is the name of the yarn. You'd look up the color number 4626, and you'd add two skeins, right. or however many right. skeins you needed to your cart. Right. You might want it long sleeves plus a longer length. Yep. You do you. Yep. So any of these colors um, that we're showing are available in stock. Enjoy. Yep. It looks like a fun, it looks a like fun, a fun top. I'm trying to think, is there anything she now, says here? Pam it, and I have knit the Anchor Summer Shirt. Mm -hmm. 
We knit the Theo. Oh, my goodness, Jen. We knit the Peacock Tee. I'm knitting my Stella Alpina in it. You're knitting the Stella Alpina. My Loop Tee was in it. The Loop Tee. There are so many. Earth and Sky. A lot of sweaters. Yeah. So, no, Earth and Sky? Yeah. Oh, why did I think that was the Biche Bouche? No, that you're thinking. Oh, I have the wrong name. Earth and Sky, the other one. The one I did from um, Amanda. Um, not Amanda. I the, this bird nets? No, no. The one that she's, she's, what's her name? Alicia Plummer. Oh. Earth and Sky is. It's not Earth and Sky. No, it's not. It's not. Earth and Sky is the one that's made out of the B shaped bush. Right. What is it called? It's, I'll look it up. It's on my, it's, I'll tell you in a second. It's okay, on my. Okay, you're a tester, I think. In any event, we have lots of things that are knit in this yarn. So these kits are in, um, include six skeins. So if something is out of stock, we didn't have a chance to restock everything. If you wanted to knit the Thea top, for example, or the Anchor summer shirt, those kits took six skeins. If you need additional skeins, you can purchase them. But if you're buying a kit and you need six and you know it, you can buy the Kylie. The Kylie is a lovely lacy pullover. It's intended um, to be worn as a layering piece. It's therefore oversized. You decide the amount of positive ease you are looking for. We sized it for the first size, which is a 48 inch finished bust. And it says it's knit by starting at the back from the top down to the base of the armholes. Then both fronts are picked up and knit separately, working from the top down, join under the arms and work down and pick up for your sleeves. It's the wild clover tea. That was made out of Lena. And that was a design by Alicia Plummer. Beautiful. That was it. That was what was it. it called? Wild Clover. Wild Clover, right. Yeah, wild Clover tea. Okay, so first up, shocking pink. Very pretty. And then we have the olive green. Another great option. It's a pretty color. Ice blue. is my anchor raspberry cream love that color classic white classic black we had also done love letter yes another top the white is in a lot of you requested it so it's available this is love letter that's that beautiful tank that's Remnant, it's got all the lace patterns going all the way through. I don't remember it now. This, I don't remember that. You're the one who shot Did I make it? No. Oh, I did show it. Yeah. I don't remember it now. It's beautiful. Um, this color, I don't know what it's called. That's reminiscent of the color she used. Is it almond? No. Almond. This is almond. Or light beige. Yeah. But both of these are fabulous This neutrals. to me has a little bit of a pinkish pink, hue. Pinkish mm -hmm. hue to it, but love both, I agree. Of, both great neutral colors. And that's a fabulous. Oh. Gotta give Pam her favorite. I don't know what it's called, but I do. Acorn, I believe. Acorn. Who that doesn't stunning. love this color? <gasps> stunning. Love it. And this is, I think, powder blush or powder pink. That's a great neutral, too. Soft, very yeah. soft pink. So now, again, there are other colors that have come in. There are other colors available. Spicy orange. I don't even remember. There's, There's a, a deeper, bunch. like a slaty blue. A, a dustier light green. A little There's so brighter many options. Pink, pastel pink. So... Go online and, you know, again, pick, you know, if you need six skeins, just go buy six skeins. Right? Yes. So that's it for kits. Now, speaking of Santa Scorn, a lot of you have unlocked Santa Scorn Summer Book 2305. This is a public service announcement. <laughs> we have recently sold copies of this beautiful book. And just the book. And unfortunately, I cannot sell just Can't the sell book. just the book. I will definitely be contacting every customer who purchased the book, as I would like to ship it to them. But every book needs to be purchased with yarn. Yeah. We just received a lovely delivery, like I said, in the Lena. We have a wonderful stock in Tin Lena. And I certainly have stock in Tick Lena. So if you want, um, you know, it's very hard. You say, well, I don't know how much I need which is true. But, you know, you can go online, Dinah, and, and you can search Santa's book number whatever. 2305. Yep. 
and you'll find thumbnails. For example, this is Ticklina. This takes three skeins of Ticklina. If this is what you're looking to purchase, just buy three skeins right. of Ticklina. And you're this is a popular top. <laughs> There's a fabulous tank top yeah. on here that is using it's a strand to strand. The, uh, what the heck is it called again? It's got a great name, too. They're in the back. Well, the names are in the back. This one is also adorable. Yeah. I believe that's two strands of Tinlina. Oh, was that right? I believe. Let me just check to make sure. I could be wrong. Tinlina. Mm -hmm. It's called the Coral Singlet. It's cute. And then there's one that's lovely. This one here, it's like got a lace pattern motif it's called the dawn singlet and this one is knit in lena oh that's so cute Another gorgeous summer top it, it's funny the motif reminds me sorry pam yeah the motif reminds, reminds me, me of uh what we're doing on yeah, the garden the, cardigan. but it's different yeah well you know is again you, if you would search the what book number is this 2305 sandisk on 2305 booklet you can find the patterns and i'm sh i believe you can find information on them as well what is that one that's a popular one this was popular last year lena what's it called um, cherry cherry genser genser cherry genser what is it knit out of lena it is lena yeah <gasps> so i can read to you the the pieces if you're looking for them in ravelry there's the coral singlet I don't know what that one is called, Pam. It's Ka crocheted. Kala skirt. It's a long skirt. Long skirt that's crocheted. There's the Lola, Lola Cole or Joel. 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 Molly T is the cover piece. Willow Joel. April Blues. B L U S E. The Talia cardigan. Bailey's bucket hat. Dawn singlet. The cherry Ginzer. And the willow joel so those are the lovely tops or garments i should say not tops they're all garments that are available here in this booklet so again if you are if you purchased it you may email me if you know what it is that you're looking for or otherwise i will call you first um, and if you do purchase any of the booklets that we may have online please add a note to what you're looking to buy yarn for if you're not sure and i will happily look it up and call you with all the specs there you go okay yeah it's not our it's not our we, we don't say you have to buy the yarn they tell no, us we can't right. sell it we can't just yarn. sell the books right? so it's not you they're know. not intended to be used for stash diving they're intended to support the, the yarn, yarn sandus right. garn exactly which i understand and you know the i don't know what i don't know what the price of that book is usually there's somewhere I don't remember. Fifteen dollars, sixteen, seventeen. I mean, maybe they've gone up. That's what they used to be, but you know, there are a lot of patterns in that book. Yes, and they're it's they're just, desirable patterns. Right, they're not. Um, they're Somet very trendy. Yeah. yeah, and they're beautiful. Actually, S sometimes you you feel like you're lucky if you find one, but uh, I can if, see several in this book. If there's more than one, yes. Uh, the Lina magazine, I think it's book number twenty one, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah. twenty one mm -hmm. is in. So we had mentioned, I think we showed it on our Instagram Live, that the Lina Magazine and My Knitting Notes in the new colorway, Yellow, we've had it in gold in the past. They're both available. It came in, in yellow? I didn't no, know No, it was gold. So that's a new colorway. It's nice. And just, do you want to just kind of reference what's in there? Yes. For instance, here's a project page. So it says, date, finished, name, designer, yarn, how much color purchased at needles gauge and size so there's all that pertinent information that we can never remember when we're done like what needle right. do we need to have how many skeins did i use <laughs> not everybody has the knitter's companion right. on their ipad or their phone and then there's this even, is a wonderful journal there's even a spot for a rating you can give it a rating it's got five circles so you could do that as well. I don't know if there's anything else in here, but that's the one. I think really that's what it consists of. But you know what we didn't talk about, Diane? I don't know if you wanted to show it. Maybe one or two of them are the um, Jethro kits that we did. Sure. You're not all of them. No, just maybe the, we'll show the, one or the, two. The, the, maybe the ones that have the color change. You know what? My husband's texting me. Oh, you have to go? So, yeah. How about we show one or two? Yeah. He's not, the one who just all, called. Not all of them. Sorry. No. So, like Pam's 
um, Jethro, the new set that we just didn't just create. We created them last week. They have some hand dyed yarns coupled together with non superwash yarns. So this kit, for example, thank you, Pam, is comprised of the main color is this. The main color here is in IPA, which is a lovely color, reminiscent of beer, I suppose from Asylum Fibers, this beautiful golden color. That would be your main color. Now we coupled it with <clears throat> accent colors. And the way it works out is this is your main as well as the outside color of all the squares. Yep. Yep. And then for the inner colors, we have this colorway called Penumbra. Dried but not forgotten, which is a beautiful oh, colorway. Gorgeous. Very cohesive. And then we put that with this kind of silvery or pearl gray, and then that dusty sagey green. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. So this will be the whole story, if you can imagine it. That's a beautiful nice. palette. This one, the, I will just show you this other one. This color is called Ink from Hedgehog. We have fun one. three skeins of the main color. That's a fun one. Up to it. Sure. And then this is the one that's um, that changes color. As you can see, I'm just trying to show you the colors that are in it. That's super fun. And this we, colorway is called Sound Wave. We put that with this beautiful purple. Gray, purple. It's pretty fuchsia. Raspberry pink. Sorry, I'm stuck. A light pink. It's like a bubblegum pink, no? Yep. Remember those sticks? Yep. The Bazooka Joe. And then yes. that turquoise. So that there soft you go. Turquoise. So that just goes lovely with the right. ink. So that would be a fun kit. So these are just two examples of some kits that we put together. There are some ones that you might have seen last week. On the website, some we, of them did sell. We were stocked where we could. Um, and you might, you know, and you'll see what's there. Now, the way this started is we had gotten some emails if we can actually get some. Um, incorporate some colors mm -hmm. that are self-striping mm -hmm. or multicolored. Now we do have some yarn here from um, oh, no, yes. from yeah, Earth yeah, yeah. Yarns. It's from the Spiral, I think it's Spiral Collection? I think it's called, yeah, I think it's Spiral it's Grain. Spiral Grain. So these are subtle self-striping yarns. And this would be the DK weight version. I think I don't um, know if it is the DK weight, is it? Yeah, it is. Sport weight. Yeah. But the other one's worsted, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So this would be another possibility that you can actually use to incorporate or mix in or blend in with some of your colors. And we can certainly work out a palette like that. Right. I know that I've gotten requests. A lot of you have wanted um, some grays or tonals. Please feel free um, to call me. I'm back. If I haven't reached back to you, I just haven't had a chance. So don't be afraid to nudge me. It's okay. There you go. And that's it. And these are nice because you could take something like this and use maybe more of this because there's a color change and just put it, you know, you might not need. A hundred percent. Like there's um, the dream state or dyed in the wool. You could do Another that thing that you can do, you, you can, can do absolutely too. use there are a lot of choices. something that is self-striping like this mm -hmm. and use mm -hmm. one color. Right. And e actually every square could be just done in spin cycle. If you wanted to. Because sure. it just yeah. stripes out. Yeah. And every square will be different, which yeah. is a lot of fun. And yeah. you just edge every single one. Except I feel like this might be a little thin. I would use the worsted weight. The dream state. Mm -hmm. mm. The dream so state there version. are lots of there are lots of choices and that's why, you know, sometimes we'll just see it, we'll throw some together, but um, the possibilities are endless. Plus you might have something at home that you want to stash. Absolutely. And you maybe just need a main color or vice versa either way. And you certainly don't need to buy a kit to join our cal. It's oh, not no, too no, late. No, 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 no. Um, if you're interested in knitting the Neela, we're having our first Zoom uh, Tuesday, May 21st, which happens to be tomorrow, but this mm -hmm. might launch to, uh, the same day. So you're welcome to join. What else can I tell you? Um, if you are interested in any Zoom that we have covered in the past, just let us know. The Zooms are still available. For example, the garden cardigan, there's still one more Zoom, live Zoom left. All the Zooms are recorded. They're always right. posted to the Facebook group. Sylph, we only had one Zoom class. And yeah, I think yeah. the next two, we yeah. didn't even start yet. Right, exactly. So there you go.
There you go. All right. Anything else? I mean, I could talk forever, but well, we could always talk home. forever. But you got to go home, unfortunately. <laughs> Excuse me. So let us know how you feel about knitting for yourself and sizing. If you've got tales of woe, like and I we'd do, we'd love to hear your tales of woe. Would love. Who doesn't have tales I mean, of woe, really? A, you know, it's funny because a lot of people. I I don't know who I was messaging Jody this morning. Jody is mm-hmm. a customer who is taking our Jethro class, and she's just starting to crochet. And she's getting the knack of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm showing her a project, and she's showing me hers. And I told her I had to rip out. It's funny. And she says, oh, your knitting always looks beautiful. I strive to make it always look beautiful, but there's always a lot of ripping involved. You may not always see it. But I'm ripping a lot. Right, right. I try to share, as, you know. It just doesn't come out naturally looking perfect the first no, time. No, absolutely not. And I mean, my husband can attest. I mean, he would like, what he would throw the again? yarn, <laughs> right. He would throw the yarn out yeah. the window and I just, I, I keep at it. So we're all human. Mistakes are okay. It's what you're willing. Not that I'm not live, willing to live with my mistakes. Of course I am. It depends but what I they just are. Like, it depends what they are. Right. I like my gar. I, I take great pride when my garment looks as beautiful as it can be. Right. There you go. And there you go. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful week filled Listen. with knitting and crafting. There you go. Take care. Good night. Mm-hmm.